Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Water Cooler. I am Sarah from Texas, and this is our place to chat all the latest reality TV gossip. Had to fix my camera. Jeff Lewis Live and Jeff Lewis Extended, if you were lucky enough to listen to it. I was not because I was trying to figure out if I could make this show work, and I did. So if you have not heard, run, don't walk over to irvineimprov.com. I don't know. Anyways, Google it, Irvine Improv website and get your ticket now for the May 30th, 7.30 p.m. Spring Fling with Jeff Lewis and all the chumps. It will be so much fun. I got my ticket. I cannot wait. So happy, happy Wednesday. And look, so it got a little bit chilly today. And so I threw on my chumpette sweatshirt that my friend Melanie had made for me and gave to me in January in LA. Oh, wait, she gave it to me in LA or in New York? I can't even remember. Where did I open the present? Anywho, I think in January. But anyways, and uh, I was at Target and I was running some errands. Nobody ever ask about my shirts unless I wear my friend's hoodie. When I wear my friend's hoodie that I got from H&M like five years ago for like 30 bucks, I get so many compliments from everybody. It's crazy. But anyway, so at Target, the lady was super nice. I was just buying some ranch mix because I needed it for my crock pot meal tonight. And um, she was like, oh, I love your sweatshirt. Did you have that made? I said, yes, actually a friend had it made for me. I mean, it's so, so nice and such good quality, you can tell. And uh, she was like, oh, and, and what does it mean? And I was like, oh God, like <laughs> do you got five minutes. I, I was like, you know, I was like, we all listen to a radio show and we're fans. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah, have a good day. Got to go. <laughs> I mean, how do you even explain? I felt like I would have died if she'd have been like, oh yeah, I love Jeff Lewis. Anyways, I feel like we are so lucky to have met. I am so excited. I'm already texting and DMing with lots of people uh, in the Sarah from Texas Facebook group. I've already created an event. People are buying their tickets. They are flying in just like I am. Uh, they're driving in. We're making plans. There is a Javier's, which Jeff Lewis loves. The, the, I guess it's Mexican, Tex-Mex, whatever right in the hole. So at the Irvine Improv, it's this whole little area that's really nice. Lots of restaurants around it, but Javier's is walking distance. So that's why I picked that. We can change it, but we might not change it. Uh, anyways, but that's where we went and saw Fortune Feimster show. It is a huge venue, y'all. I mean, huge. I do not know how many people it holds, but it is much bigger than even the bourbon room in Hollywood that he had his December event at that so many of us went to and met. So I cannot wait. I, I, I tell y'all all the time, live your life with no regrets. We never know how much time we have on this earth. I was just talking to my friend Kim and uh, she's had someone in her life with a medical emergency. You just never know what's ever going to go on. So just no regrets. I'm not saying to live your life in debt, but if you can make it to the May 30th event, join us. It will be so much fun. When I tell you it is like heaven to meet another Jeff Lewis live fan. It is like we always have so much in common. It is just so much fun. So please make your plans to do that. Oh my God, Jane bought a ticket. I cannot wait. A lot of you I've already met before. Jennifer from Chicago is going to fly in. I'm trying to talk Annette to fly in from New York. Oh my gosh. Melanie and her husband are coming in from, uh, from, I'm not DC. Anyways, they're flying in. I just, yes, Michelle, I would love it if you can fly in or drive in. I guess y'all can drive in from Las Vegas, right? It's only like five hours. Well, no, it might be worth drive flying. Anyways, SNA, whatever that, that airport is, that's the one that's actually the closest to Irvine. But from Houston, they don't have ever nonstop. So I'm trying to trying to weigh the pros and cons of maybe flying nonstop to LAX, renting a car, Ubering, whatever, to get to Irvine, and then maybe flying out of SNA Airport back home. 
but anyways, I'm trying to figure all that out. I haven't done it all yet. And then I would figure out which, which hotel am I staying at? Am I staying in LA? Am I staying near the airport and LAX? Am I staying in Irvine? Anyways, very exciting. And this is the perfect time, if there's a perfect time, because it is days after all the graduation festivities. So, you know, I've got graduation, the graduation party, uh, you know, prom is very soon. So all the things going on for my graduating senior. And I wasn't sure if I could go because we are need to finalize our senior mom and daughter trip soon. And I was worried it was going to be then, but she does want to go in June, but it's probably going to be the next week. So I was just like, I cannot, I cannot go there and then pick up and, you know, so it's probably a perfect timing. So I'm very excited, very excited. Let me know if you plan to come. I hope you can. Um, no, I would never stay at the Pelican. No, that is way too much money, Natalie. This girl is cheap. I love myself a, love myself a, you know, Marriott. I just, I love a, a good priced hotel, but I had definitely stayed in some decent hotels in West Hollywood for one night. So we'll figure it out. But, you know, I, I, I just don't know all the driving for such a quick trip. I don't want to go into LA, LAX, and then West Hollywood, and then back down to Irvine, back up to Hollywood for the night. So I don't know. Somebody that lives in the area. Hey, Robin, I cannot believe you're coming. I can't wait to see you. Um, yeah, we just need to figure out the best way to plan all this is in the Sarah from Texas Facebook group. Like I said, I've already made an event there. So anyone that knows the area, anyone that's great at researching, if you will post all your ideas, especially, you know, the show is 730 at night. And then the, there's the VVIP that's before. There's the general admission. Then there's the VIP ticket that's after the event to like the meet and greet and take a picture with everyone. Uh, and then if we went out afterwards, so I definitely don't want to drive back. But either way, if I fly out of LAX, so I just need to decide if I'm going to fly out of SNA, whatever it's called, John Wayne Airport. Anyways, because if I fly home, I won't be as concerned about not having a nonstop. You know what I mean? Because I'll be flying home. I've got the I've got the leeway. But um, Jet says, what chumps are going? The ones that he announced today were um, Jeff Lewis, Shane Douglas, Doug Buden. He announced Megan Weaver. So that's a good thing. Uh, Carrie Lewis, Todd Lewis will open the show just like he did in December. He's hilarious. I mean, Todd Lewis is not shy, right? Uh, and he mentioned Joey. So Joey last time, I think with Monica, don't remind me if I'm wrong. I think it was Joey and Monica that did like audience questions. Oh, wait, Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. She's going to her and her husband. The Hampton Inn has free breakfast. You know I'm all for a free breakfast. There is zero calories at a free breakfast hotel. I love that. I'm so in for that. So in for that. Okay, Robin says you're flying into Irvine. Is that SNA? I think it is. Wait, SNA is Santa Ana. Okay, I need to look in if I'm going to fly into Irvine. They've got their own airport. Okay, tell me the initials of that one. SNA is the one that I was looking at that's like two miles away. I think that's the Santa Ana airport. Anyways, I could be wrong. Okay, well, there's other stuff to chat about, but it is obviously very exciting to chat about um, a, a live event. So Mary's like, wait, where's everyone going? I'm behind. Jeff Lewis announced a live show today. So May 30th. So go get your tickets at Irvine Improv if you can. I would love to love to see you there. Okay, SNA is in Irvine. Okay, so good. We're all on the same ticket. We're all on the same page there. Um, okay, so much. I mean, so much going on with Jeff Lewis. TMZ last night. I'm just watching. I normally don't watch. So my TMZ show is on at 6.30 p.m. I should have been at the gym doing body pump. And I wasn't because you know what? I've just been eating everything. I've gained 18 pounds in a couple of months. I mean, I am just not at my healthiest. I'm just, I'm having a moment. You know, I'm sure y'all can all uh, understand. But anyways, I'm watching TMZ live and they bring up the Shannon Bedore and I'm like, oh, and they show Jeff Lewis and Doug and Shane. I'm like, oh my God. So that was very exciting. I made a video of that. Then this morning on Andy Cohen live, 
a caller calls in. I was about, I was literally leaving to go run some errands. And uh, a caller calls in and said something like, I have a question about Jeff Lewis. And I was like, oh, what is this going to be? The caller was basically saying, what do you think of the latest that's going on with him? The feud that's going on with him and Brandy and Julie. And John Hill and Andy Cohen were like, wait, what's going on? I don't even know what's going on. And she explains it to him that, you know, he recently admitted that he wants to sue them. And she didn't really get into all the details, but they were like, oh, well, I don't know. Jeff has always been great to us. And then she says something like, well, I'm kind of getting over it. And the, st the show is stale. And I think he's losing a lot of viewers. So then I was like, well, if anyone would know viewers, I mean, Andy Cohen's probably paying attention with his name being Radio Andy, right? So uh, Andy Cohen comes back and he's like, oh, no, I love Jeff Lewis. The reason I love him is he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, you know, he brings it. He has a great audience that listens and they're very loyal. So he, why was my dog barking? He and Andy, uh, he and John Hill really, really defended him. And John was like, oh, I love, he treats me so well. I love going on his show. It was really interesting. I mean, it's not the trash day. It's not the lawn guy day. It's not the pool guy day. It's not the recycle guy day. I don't think I have anything being delivered today, but who knows? I mean, why is she barking? Anyways, why should be something really bad? I'm like, oh, Luna's just barking. <laughs> Anyways, okay. In other news, um, did y'all see Jeff's Field of Greens commercial? What did you think about it? I mean, y'all know I have mixed feelings on his ads that he does. Um, didn't love the Venus CBD one that he didn't like his white pajamas and the little nightcap with Shane. Uh, didn't exactly understand it. This one is for Field of Greens, which there is no way in hell Jeff Lewis is drinking this shit. I mean, he hasn't said he is, but obviously he's doing an ad for it. He's been doing the, the reads for it too. Anyways, uh, you see, who is it in the commercial? Is that, um, is that Lily? I'm not sure which one or Aurora, but anyway, it's not Zoila, but it's one of them. She comes around the corner and she's basically like, you know, who's been drinking my field? Who stole my, my field of dream, my field of dreams, my field of greens. And Jeff's got like green powder all over his face, all over his shirt, acting like he didn't steal it. It was really funny, actually. Uh, you know, Shane's in it, like acting like the only thing I didn't like, and I know this is so dumb you can see Jeff's mic. And I'm like, why didn't they have like a boom mic, you know, like over his head out of the whatever. I think Aurora or Lily, whoever it was, had a mic on also. And I'm like, I know it's stupid. But anyways, it, it bothered me because Shane, of course, didn't have a mic on. And I'm like, anyways, it's really funny. I think there's a code to get like $25, no, 25% off or something. I'm not into those things. Although I would do anything to help my, my gut health be better. I mean, Think if I stopped eating Jack in the Box, Wendy's, McDonald's, Cane's, Chick-fil-A. I mean, maybe if I went back to eating some decent foods in my body, but clearly I'm not. Uh, thank you, Kathy. Love that pink on me. Thank you. Shout out, Melanie. Um, anyway, Gips, Gypsy Rose. Not only is she separating from her husband, now she's getting a, a, a matching tattoo with her ex-fiance. They got matching husky tattoos. Like they, I guess there's some kind of connection they have with husky dogs. So the way they got the tattoo, it's like one dog on one of their arms is facing this way. The other person has the husky facing this way. So when they put it together, the huskies are looking at each other's. I'm like, what is going on? As we talked about a week or two ago, she made the decision to she didn't delete her social media. She might have deleted some, but she definitely made her Instagram private. So, um, yeah, Kathy, I mean, it's so strange with your ex-husband. Clearly, they're getting closer, right? So, anyways, my bet is that um, she's going to bring back her Instagram or her TikTok, both, whatever, it was all making her gobs of money. I'm sure of it. Uh, she has a bazillion followers. She'll be doing some ads. This will be her job. And, you know, who knows? Um, 
Wait, Robin says, somebody sent me a DM about this, but I didn't get to read it all yet. I just, it popped up. Robin says, there's a new podcast, a Patreon for Julie and Brandy, I think is what you meant. Wrongful suing, something like that. I don't know. Don't know. I don't have their Patreon. Oh my God. Mayvu, I can relate. That sounds so good. Sitting here listening about eating habits while eating toffee cake says something about my diet at the moment. Time for a change for me. Me too. Somebody motivate me. Somebody get me back to eating healthy and taking care of myself. I am absolutely in a rut for sure. Uh, an emotional rut. I think I'm stressed about my daughter graduating. I, I do not like, I don't know. I just stress about things like the party, the, I don't know, all the things. Uh, with a Shirley Temple? Do you really? That's hilarious. Um, I'm eating quiche with a Shirley Temple. I love that, Kathy. God, quiche sounds, I mean, I have been eating so incredibly shitty. I mean, I mean, good, but shitty. Anyways, what else is going on? Corey Bierman. Uh, he's like posting like some Excel spreadsheet or some shit of like all the fancy stuff that Kim has spent over the, the, the last couple of years comes out to like $600,000 in the last five or six years, which is a lot of money because they have not had their TV show in a long time. And there is nothing about this cab, K-A-B, you know, whoever, uh, makeup, lotion, lipstick, whatever she does is paying their finances. Clearly somebody go in, let's see, how many people do we need? Maybe like 300 people. How much is that divided? I think their house is down to $4.5 million now. They had it originally listed at six. Some chump do the math. How much do we need to get it down to be like 5,000? I think 5,000 is an adequate amount of money. Like every once in a while we go to, you know, Kim's house in uh, Atlanta and hang out. No, I don't think it'd be good if that many of us bought the house, right? We'd all be fighting over who could stay when and what. Uh, it'd be fun. Anyways, um, I see no 18 pounds on Sarah. Oh, they're there. Oh, oh, it's it's so there. I weighed myself this morning. Anyways, yes, Luna's Luna's in the background. Um, what else? I still didn't watch any more of Vanderpump Villa. I, I, I'm trying. I'm not even there to the proposal yet. I get everywhere. Now I at least understand that the couple that is going to get proposed to uh, on Vanderpump Villa, the other people are her friends, family, whatever. So at least they explain that. But I don't know. Um, I just think it looks more fake than the other shows. Maybe I'm going to get into it. I'm hoping that I am. But anyways. Uh, okay. I watched The Valley last night. We're going to chat about that real quick. And then watch what happens live was live with Brittany. And some other girl from Bridgerton, I don't know who the girl was, but she almost seemed a little too eager. Like, I almost think she was kind of getting on Andy Cohen's nerves. A couple of times she answered a question like a little more lengthy or more detail than he was expecting, like one of the games they were playing. And he was just kind of like, um, OK, anyways. Um, yes, yes. Skip the valley. It's terrible. They won't survive if they don't get Sheena and Lala in. Krista and Brittany said something about that on um, Watch What Happens Live last night, right? Okay, The Valley, episode three. Um, the biggest thing is it starts off, what was at the beginning? Like Jax and Brittany were like doing their voices over when Luke was talking, which is Kristen's new boyfriend and Kristen. It was so, I've never seen this. I, I don't know what the editing was supposed to be. It was so bizarre. Um, but that wasn't the weirdest thing. So Kristen in 2020 was one of the ones with, um, who all was fired? I mean, or canceled and fired. Stassi was canceled with Kristen. I feel like some, some of the guys for like 10 years ago, Twitter posts they had done, like that they said was like bad or something. I think Stassi, Stassi and Kristen got fired over some comments or texts or both that they said about Faith, who remember Jax Taylor cheated on Brittany with. See how that all that friend group is so intermixed in. 
So she got fired for that, yet for being racist, yet she's bringing up these alleged things that Zach said that Janet told her about Michelle. Michelle is half Mexican, half um, Persian. So she was like, why are they saying this? Then they bring up that she's Republican. And Andy Cohen actually talked about that on Andy Cohen Live to do also. Basically, the Valley, they were saying, gosh, you know, saying someone is Republican in this town is worse than saying they're a racist. Like, that's like the worst thing ever that you can do to anyone. So Andy Cohen did bring it up today because somebody called in and asked. And he was basically like, no, he brings up the very different between MAGA people specifically and Republicans. So he was kind of clarifying that. But the main thing was that Kristen, who was fired for being racist in 2020, specifically, is now on the air calling Michelle a racist. And I, I don't even think she had anything to prove it. She was just trying to say, like, because of this, she probably feels like this. And because of this and, th and the Michelle's like, I'm not even Republican. But what if I was like, what's it matter? It was crazy. Um, why has Jax, why is his name on the outside of this restaurant, Jax's Studio City? They show him with three business partners and he says he hasn't invested any money. Like, how does that happen? Like, what? Is he making money because his name is on it and he's showing up? So I even saw a video last night. I think he's having like watch parties at, which is brilliant. I mean, if there was one, you know, within 30 minutes of my house, I would absolutely be going every week to watch some of my favorite shows. I even had this idea years ago about having like an event space for people to get together and watch TV shows. I still think it's a great idea, but anyways, I always have ideas that I never follow through with. Um, but I think Jax is making money because they know he will always go and be there, right? And love him or hate him, Jax Taylor, people would love to go and see him just like in the flesh, see how he acts, take a picture with him. It definitely makes people go to a restaurant if they know a celebrity is going to be there, right? For sure. <laughs> Krista says, you threw watch parties before they were in. I mean, literally 20, 25 years ago, we were having, I was hosting watch parties with my friend for um, Sex in the City because all of us didn't have HBO. So we had to trade off at the houses who had it. Anyway, see the douche close up, <laughs> Kathy says. Yeah. Um, bigger douche ball than him, though, is Jesse, Michelle's husband. He's so disgusting. Um, anyways, but so Jesse and Michelle is the married couple that's very into appearances. Like he is all about everything looking perfect. I felt like in episode one, he was asking her if she wanted a glass of champagne and she's like, it's 930 in the morning. Like, I feel like he's just putting on airs. We now know they've already announced their separation. And even in, in episode three, it continues. We continue to see that their marriage has been on the rocks for years. They have this life coach come to their house. They talk about, you know, sex has been non-existent for years. They just really have no love for each other. They kind of fight all the time, pick on each other, what have you, but they are real estate agents together. So they have this 18 and a half million dollar house listed and he's talking about hosting this big party. So I assume the party meant, I guess I've watched million dollar listing LA too much. First of all, I thought it'd be a lot more extravagant than it was. It, I, they didn't really show the house. I kind of wanted to see this 18 and a half million dollar house. Everyone that was at the table was the cast of the Valley. None of those people got 18 and a half million dollars for that house. I mean, so why are they, did they have this party and they had kind of an open house for real people that want to spend the money? He was all about like all the liquor he was buying and the expense of it. It was going to be like Capri in Italy and you have to go to Capri in the summer and some other place I'd never heard of in the winter to be what have you. Thank you for buying a badge, the quilt hanger lady. Um, and thank you, Dina. Um, so crazy. Have I, <laughs> I love y'all. Uh, Dana Maria, have I pronounced Capri Sun wrong all these years? Exactly. That's about as close as I'm ever going to get. 
I went to Italy and I have no idea where Capri is. I mean, it's probably way more expensive than I could ever afford. Anywho, but that was just interesting. I was like, who is, it almost was set up as if it was like the season finale of the show, right? When they had like these big fancy events, but he's, just, he's way more of a douche, way more of a douche than uh, Jax Taylor for sure. Well, mm, I don't know. Is he way more of a douche? Anyways, um, like I said, I did not get a chance to watch Vanderpump Rules yet. Um, uh, I did watch Watch What Happens Live, though, live with Brittany and that other girl. She looked amazing. Her boobies were on point. I did not like Br uh, Brittany's boobies. And I was DMing with another friend last night. And um, shout out. Well, I don't want to say her name. Anyways, because um, I don't want her to. I, anyways. Um, I was DMing with someone else about lots of details we had, of lots of opinions we had about Britney's boobs in her um, her confessional look yesterday. Thank you for buying a badge. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are like trying to give me like, maybe I could buy a new ring light. <laughs> My ring light keeps like flittering every every day. I'm like, is this ring? This one, I've got another ring light that holds my my phone. The other ring light stand holds my iPad for TikTok. So one's already broke a long time ago. Uh, and this one's on its last leg. So anyways, thank y'all. Um, so Brittany, we were talking about her boobs in the confessional look. They were super high up. She's had these boobs forever. It almost looked like they hadn't dropped. I mean, I know all these terms because I watch, you know, botched. Um, but anyways, on Watch What Happens Live, she had like this see-through beaded type shirt underneath a a jacket. They looked so good. So good. Andy Cohen was talking about him today. He asked lots of questions about Jax and she answered them all. Absolutely sounds like they're never getting back together. Right. Sounds like she has moved on. He even said, thank you. Omi is blessed. Sounds like she has moved on, but he didn't ask why is she in their son, the one in an Airbnb. And why did Jax stay in the house? And like, I guess it's so bad. I just keep wondering how are Tom Sandoval and Ariana still living in the same house? Although now we know, you know, each of them practically go off and do their own thing. So then they're, they've got the house to themselves. But how is it so bad that they can't stay there together? Like, do they just have this? What did somebody say her rental is like 10 or $15,000 a month? That's a lot of money. Nicola Penelope Featherington. That's her last name from Bridgington. Bridgington. I've never watched Bridgerton. And yeah, never watched it. No idea. Anyways, um, but she answered a lot of questions. It just sounds like she truly believes he's never cheated on her. She did say the one thing that was kind of the the everything, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. She had gone out the night before with Kristen and he woke up and had some idea in his brain of what had happened. And she just realized immediately, I, I'm, this is it. Like, this is too much. This is not, this is not good for my mental health to be here. So anyways, but you know, she's in New York. Uh, the girl next to her, what did Kim just tell me? Her, Nicola was like hyping her up, you know, like, you're so hot. This is great. Um, so she'll move on. She'll be fine. She'll be fine with her son, Cruz. Anyways, Andy was in a mood today, in a mood. If you, if you had the balls to call into Andy Cohen live today, I hope you didn't screw it up because he was not having it with the callers today. Like people were calling in basically, you know, can I get watch what happens live tickets for my mom? And if I'm coming to New York, what's the weather going to be? And if I'm coming to New York, where should I eat? He was just like, what am I the freaking hotel concierge? Like he was definitely in a mood um, for sure. Anyways, y'all are so quiet on TikTok today. Why are y'all being so quiet? Get comfy in comments over there. Anyways. um. Oh, Lisa from Crafty Dodger says, high rent to get a better settlement. So she's spending money now to show what it would cost to like live in a safe place for her and Cruz, maybe. I don't know. It's so weird. Anyways. 
Oh, I haven't noticed. Okay, Darla's not here. Deborah says, did you guys notice that Darla's not been in the chat today? I'm scared that's a bad sign. Just keep praying for her son. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, Darla is a regular chumpette and she had told us some news. So we don't know. Maybe she'll DM me. So maybe she'll watch this on the replay and will give me an update for sure. And then I'll pass that all on to everyone. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I love our community. I love that we know things about each other. I love that we share the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, life is not always amazing. So, um, you know, I love that we all feel comfortable, you know, not only chatting reality TV and Jeff Lewis live, but just like real life prayers. I know so much about so many of y'all. Y'all know a lot about me clearly. Um, you know, but I, I just know a lot about people's families and, and the good stuff, the bad stuff. Um, so anyways, and that's what makes a community, right? Like it's one thing to just like gossip, but like, I love that we actually really know each other and care about each other. So anyways, um, oh, wow. May boo. Okay. So May boo's in London. Don't forget in the UK, we don't hear much about Andy Cohen, but the last few weeks I've noticed on the daytime shows, he's being mentioned regarding the snow allegations. Uh, is y'all's press worse than the U.S.? I mean, because we're pretty nosy here for sure. Anyways. Okay, let's chat today's Jeff Lewis Live. By the way, if you're just joining and you didn't hear, uh, he did announce a Jeff Lewis Live Spring Fling show. Uh, it'll be him. It's in Irvine, California. So the Irvine Improv, grab your tickets now. It's a pretty big venue. I've been to it to see Fortune Feenster. Uh, it's a great layout. Like there's no bad ticket. But what they do with VVIP, they kind of, you don't really have a set table. But anyone that gets VVIP will have a certain area. Anyone that gets VIP also gets to be in that same area. So I think every, and then if you have a general admission ticket, which is 75 plus the fees, we can all meet beforehand to make plans to sit together, or we can go out to dinner, go have a drink together, go have lunch together, what have you. Do not, I already had somebody that messaged me, which was so amazing that said, look, I had always said I was going to go to the next live event and I already bought my ticket. She's like, I'm coming alone, but I know I won't be alone. Remember. You are never alone. If you want to be alone and sit by yourself and not talk to anyone, great. If you want to meet other reality TV and Jeff Lewis fans, then absolutely. This is the place for you because I will absolutely make that happen. I love meeting other people. Truly do. Um, I've already put an event in the Sarah from Texas Facebook group. So join that. That's just an easier way to keep all the information there. So anyways, do not let life pass you by. Do not let FOMO hit you and be like, oh, I wish I would have. I mean, if it's possible at all, grab your ticket, figure out the details later. Um, look at those airplane flights, look at driving, look at the hotels. Hopefully you live close and it'll be easy for you to go anyways. Um, I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> Kathy says, Sarah, you'd be so fun at a party. I mean, fun is one word. Obnoxious is another. The big joke is since y'all know I don't really drink, um, you know, we'll be at a restaurant, and, you know, a big group. I'll be having so much fun. And the, the, the my friends will be like, and she's not even drinking like this is Sarah on water. And I'm like, yep. Anyway, so it is fun. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Um, but I'm a loser and didn't get to listen to Jeff Lewis Extended at all because I was too busy. I was talking to my daughter and trying to figure out we were going to book our senior trip, um, the mom and daughter senior trip. And I knew it was going to be close to May 30th, if not exactly then. So I didn't buy my ticket because I wasn't sure, but she said, no, I want to go the first week of June. So then we still have a couple of days leeway to fly back and then get ready for the other trip. Um, anyways, but I did, did book it now, but I was talking to her and then looking up flights and then texting other people that are coming and arranging things. And uh, if you don't start the Jeff Lewis Extended show and pause it before it ends at my time, one o'clock, then it's gone for a couple of hours. So I was, I'll have to listen to it in a little bit. Um, but I've got some mom duties to go take care of. And I've got to do this other part of my crock pot recipe. Like there's a four part. And then you've got to like 
cook the cream of mushroom, the cream cheese, the garlic, the chicken stock, and then mix it all together and then pour it over the thing and then cook it for two more hours. So I got to go and do that real quick. But anyway, so I didn't go listen to Jeff Lewis extended today. So let me know if he said anything good. Um, yes, Tiffany Chump. I can't wait to see you again. Uh, I didn't listen either. I was so frazzled trying to buy my ticket. Yeah. So, but again, it's a much bigger venue. So last time I think tickets were all sold out in like five hours, right? Um, so anyways, it was gone. What are you making? Debbie, it is like chicken. I do chicken breast and then I do chicken thighs for me and one of the daughters. And then, um, it's basically like that cream cheese, cream of chicken, you know, like that soupy, whatever. And then you make it over egg noodles or rice. Anyways, thank you, Sunny Meta. You seem like a, such a great mom. I mean, ask the teenagers. I mean, if I've, if I've transferred money into their bank account, then it's a good day. If I haven't, you know. Um, anyways, thank you, Christy. Y'all are sweet. Okay, Cynthia Bailey and Todrick Call. Speaking of FOMO, they like, did Jeff like invite them literally to Cabo today? Like, yeah, come to Cabo. I don't guess he was serious, but I don't know. I did not watch the season of Celebrity Big Brother that Todrick was on. It was very controversial, but Cynthia Bailey was on it with them. They were like roommates. So they talk a little bit about that. But a lot of you, I mean, Todrick, I love him on Jeff Lewis Live. I think he's very down to earth. I think he's very financially responsible. Like he gets a lot of crap. And I'm like, I don't know. I think he's a great guy. Like, am I, am I missing something? Uh, but he and he and Cynthia, Cynthia were sort of alliances on Celebrity Big Brother, but he got a lot of crap for being, I think he's a super fan, admittedly, of Big Brother. So he kind of knew how to come in play in the game. But that's where like people get a lot of crap from shows like that, even like the traders, right? Like did Trishel and uh not CJ, CT, uh, play the game right? Or did they screw over MJ? Like everyone sees it different, right? Yes, Nick James in Puerto Rico. Are you going to fly into LA? Todrick gives good radio. I love listening to his voice. Good. Okay, I love that. Dolly Girl says, I watched that celebrity big brother and I had zero problems with how he played. But don't you agree, Dolly, that people definitely like in the early days of Big Brother, which we totally watched every season, every episode. Um, there's so many of them now. Uh, but you always had the people, oh, they're lying. I'm not voting for them because they lied. And then eventually they were like, well, kind of, they called it the social game or, you know, winning based on how many, uh, you know, things they were going to win. Like if you were a physical player or not. Yeah. Tiffany Chump says he played the game. That's how you win. But I just, I feel like you can be on Jeff Lewis once, but now he's been on multiple times. Thank you, Eva on TikTok. And um, so I feel like his real personality is coming out. And like, I just, I like him for sure. Anyways. Um, yes. Robin says, can't wait to hear Jeff Lewis live in Cabo. Should be pretty funny. If that darn machine works. Remember that machine they always talked about not working during the pandemic? Oh my God. So crazy. Um. So they leave for Cabo today. They come back and I think they're there for like four nights. They were totally talking about um, Krista. Like, I mean, I think she's just making sure. I think she's just excited to go. I think she's just making sure she's got everything. They are flying private. Are they flying private back? Because if they are, which I kind of got confused about yesterday, then why are they worried if they really even were? Why are they worried about the... Um, about bringing all this medicine back from the pharmacia. Like, are they going to get, like, I have never flown private or whatever this option is that they're doing, but I really think they don't go through your stuff like they do, um, like regular airfares, right? Crazy. I love, is it his birthday actually today? It almost sounded like it was. Jet says, Todrick is an, is an Aries, so the same energy. Maybe that's why I like him. I mean, I mean, I like Jeff Lewis. He has my same birthday. I definitely like Todrick. I like Shannon Bedore, you know, all the people. 
that's kind of what I thought, Nick James. I think it's just a private jet on the way there. So why are they doing a private jet on the way there and not the way home? Maybe they didn't have the times they wanted available and maybe coming home they had the times. Or is Jeff like actually saving money doing something? Don't you feel like Jeff sometimes he'll talk about like if something's a good deal or not. And then sometimes he just is like blowing cash all the way. It's crazy. Um, who's Rick? JT. Any reason why Rick can't seem to function by himself? I have no idea who you're talking about. Rick and Kelly? I mean, I don't know if that's, if that's what it is. Oh, well, that's true. Sarah says, if that were true, then drugs would just be dropped off by private planes. Well, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Um, oh, oh, okay. Michelle says, did you know Liat has a private jet? So maybe they're on Liat's and maybe Liat is staying longer so they can't come back on hers. I don't know. They really say. Um, oh, Rick and Kelly are in London right now doing what? Okay, I didn't know. I haven't watched their show yet. Um, did not know. Um, no idea. No idea. Um, what else? All I ever, I mean, I guess after the May 30th thing, that's all I wrote down. Like literally, my notes like stopped. I was like, oh, May 30th, there's an event. Anyways, very exciting. I mean, Jeff is so like, remember for you know, he kept mentioning um a chicago live show and then he just doesn't mention it at all so you know we all have to kind of stay on our toes with jeff now usually when he mentions it he'll be like oh in a few weeks the tickets will go on sale um but this time he was like tickets are on sale now and i was like oh crap but then i didn't know if i could go or not i had to wait and figure out um the dates of when we thought we might go on you know this trip so somebody thinks she's in paris i don't know um, a little blue pill. <laughs> um, Sunny Meadow. Good question. Okay. Let's just open it up to questions. Um, random questions might've missed it, but is Hollywood house lift going to film a third season? Last I heard him say was like March, April, or May. There was some, it was either March or May. I feel like there's a date that Amazon has to tell them if they're picking up a season three. If not, they tell them they're not, but then Jeff has time to then go shop the show around. That's why shows will flip networks or flip streaming shows, streaming services and go somewhere else. So I think if he just did that quick trip to New York City, remember that one that was like Monday and Tuesday, he was in New York like smoozing and doing stuff. I think if Amazon sent him and Shane there, they're probably picking him up. I can't imagine. I. I think the relationship sounds great with Amazon. I think if not, Jeff would be publicly bitching and moaning. I don't know. So I, I think he, it will be, but I have no idea. Um, yeah, May Boo, you and Sarah, have you and Sarah met? Y'all are both in London. Why haven't y'all met yet? Y'all need to get together and meet. If y'all ever get together with other chumpettes and meet y'all need to let me know or post it in the sarah from texas facebook group i would love to know that would make me that would literally make my day that would make me so happy that other people have met through our love of reality tv and jeff lewis like that'd be so cool i mean i think jolie is going to to paris right i don't know if they've said the live show, Sue, is in Irvine, California on May 30th. Um, tickets are at irvineimprov.com, and they're not sold out yet. It's a very big venue. So last time, I think um, they sold out in like five hours. The tickets, good question, Jet. Um, I think, and there's plus fees, but it was 75 for general admission. What was the VIP? Was it 150 and then VVIP, which is a one hour pre-show with Jeff and like pictures and whatever, like a hangout, um, that was $250. After taxes and fees, my ticket was $284 for VVIP. Oh, VVIP is sold out, Tiffany Chump just said. VVIP is sold out. Okay, so thanks for letting us know. Um, I love that, Sarah, UK Chump at Meetup this summer. Oh my God, that would be amazing. I would love to hear that. 
Um, wait, I thought you already bought your ticket, Tiffany, for you and your husband. Were you just going to sell yours and get VVIP instead? Because I thought you were already going. I better see you and your husband there. Tiffany is the one. I mean, she's beautiful. But she posted a picture of um, me and her in the Sarah from Texas Facebook group, y'all. She's beautiful and just stunning. Oh, going to get another one. Okay, for another friend. Anyways, what else is going on? Is there Trader Joe's in Texas? Yes. Is it nationwide? I don't know if it's nationwide, but we definitely have them in Texas. I've been to ones in Dallas. Where else have I been to Trader Joe's? My daughter that goes to school in Georgia goes to Trader Joe's in Athens. Um, I don't love a Trader Joe's, but I think they're too limiting on their brands and stuff. Isn't that weird? So I don't love it. And I think it costs a little more. Y'all know I'm super damn cheap. Yes. Kathy says Tiffany is gorge. She absolutely is. Um, no, Jet, my husband stays home and works, takes care of our dog and the kids. Sarah, you should drag your husband out to the event. No, he would have no interest. Like we go see comedians together, whether one of us likes it and the other one does, we end up watching like a Netflix. We usually just like the same comedians. Uh, we go to a lot of live shows together, but he would have zero interest in Jeff Lewis. He just doesn't listen to it. Like he, we used to listen to Howard Stern together and we both had the Howard Stern on Sirius XM and now we don't. Like neither one, we both outgrew Howard Stern. So, oh, Kathy says there's a few in Ohio too. So anyways. Oh my gosh, Tiffany is planning her outfit as we speak. Um, who's Fluffy? A comedian? Hmm. I don't know who that is, Kathy. Anyways, well, thank you so much for joining live again. If you can make it May 30th, it would be so much more fun. That's the next event. I don't know of any other events that that are um, going on, but if there's ever an event that you want to meet up with other people, you know, post about it in the Sarah from Texas Facebook group. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, no. Somebody says, I couldn't see the H on your shirt and you thought it said trumpet. <laughs> trumpet. Anyways, my friend Melanie made it for me. So anyways, have an amazing day. Yes. Shout out, Eliana. I'm going to text you and see if you're coming to the show or not. We'll get on the same flights. Anyways. Bye, y'all.